What's going on everyone? Ancap24 here from playbook.gg. In today's video, we're gonna show you a little bit about soft squats, um, a play that I really like to go to, and basically how to check whether or not it's gonna be the most success for you by the alignment of your defense. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel and you wanna win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. All right, guys, so the play we're going to be looking at is called stick. Now, what I like to do with stick is I like to flip the play. And the reason for that is I have a right-handed quarterback, and it's really important to know little details, and I want to teach you this. When you're throwing the ball with a right-handed quarterback to the left side, it is slightly longer as far as turning his uh, shoulders to throw at that player. So it gives a little bit longer um, or better opportunity for your safeties to get to a certain spot. If you're throwing with the right side and you're throwing it, it does come out a little bit quicker and that's gonna give you a little bit more opportunity. Now I kinda of wanna explain that as we do this video, okay? So the first thing I wanna show is pinch dog two press, okay? Now this is a three, four odd um, type of formation, okay? It is um, soft squats on the outside and then you've got deep halves. Now I want you to look at this player right here, Chuck, okay? On three, four odd, this player it lines up a lot more centered than other formations. And I'm gonna show you what I go as a parameter. So but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna max protect, move this guy over, and put the X on a streak. The X on a streak is gonna be two things. One, it's gonna hold that, um, that safety, but again, it's kind of something that I use as a line. If you see Chung, see how he's much further to the left than this line? If they are left of that line, I'm able to throw to this B pretty easily to the outside. Some formations, and I'm gonna get into that as we go with, through this video, the safety lines up differently, right? So this is non-pressed. If I was to press this, you can see how he comes down in three, four odd, and he's still to the left of the line, I mean, yeah, to the left of the line. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna show you how this easy route combination, and it's really about this B route. This B route is basically one of those routes that goes about five yards vertically then starts going and fading off to the right. It's a great route to beat soft squats because soft squats does not press. A lot of people go ahead and use soft squats because of their ability to change to man, uh, their ability to um, basically play a lot of different things in blitzings, but this is one of the easier ways to, to attack it. So watch this B route, he's gonna get to the outside and we're gonna be able to easily throw this ball to out the outside, okay? Couple reasons why on that, it was pressed so they were a little bit closer, but also because of the fact that he was to the left of the line. So we're gonna show it to you without pressing, so you can see it. And all I'm doing right here again is just looking at the X, can tell that he's outside the line. We're not gonna get a bump on B, and we're gonna be able to throw that. That was actually even a poor throw. It should have been towards the sidelines. You wanna make sure that you are throwing away from the safety. That's a big part of this play. And this it comes out of gun tray out of the Bucks uh, playbook and the reason why I like this playbook so much is um, we got that the gun doubles that we just went ahead and shown and you can see how that throw is pretty easy right so that is something that I want to make sure that you understand that was three four odd let's get out of three four odd and part of this video is really discussing alignment when it comes to different formations now let's go to nickel okay I'm going to go to cover two sync this is nickel normal and we're going to call the same exact play and we're going to flip it just the same I'm not telling you you can't run it to the left side. It's just you're going to be a little bit um, slower. So, you know, depending on what you're playing, if you're playing regs, definitely going to do it. If you're playing something like Mutt where you've got 99 speed guys, you've got to be a little bit more um, efficient with your throws, right? So here we go again. Um, this is nickel normal. Now, I want to show you nickel normal. Look at the X's route. See how the safety is basically, um, his foot is basically on the line. That is a, the the furthest I can have that player to the right in order to make this work. If he's not touching the line or to the left of the line, don't try this, okay? I'm going to press. You can see it doesn't change anything in nickel normal. The guy stays in the same spot. So I just wanna make sure you see that. You can see that the guy gets to the outside. We can throw it to him over there and you got yourself the catch, okay? Nickel normal is something that you can do. Use that line that is created by the X receiver. Now, there's a couple other things I wanna show you why this works so well. The X receiver is on the line of scrimmage, the B is off. That means the X receiver is going to get up the field a little bit quicker to get the attention of the safety. Make sure you've got speed at the X receiver to make this work so the safety does not get the full uh, ability to widen out. Let's go to the next formation. And this is the one that a lot of people will use, it's dime one, four, six. Okay, and there's a reason why a lot of people use this. 
um, not only because of the way that they go ahead and um, can blitz off of it, but with the DB Sting uh, to Buzz here, we'll go ahead and show you. There's when you press this, they actually go more wide, and I'll show you that basically here as we go and check it out here. So let's go to stick. All right. So if you see, if I go ahead and do this the whole the same way, right? Move this guy over, put X on a streak. He is to the left of the line. If they leave this here, we're good to go, right? I already talked about this before. We're going to go ahead and be able to throw this ball to the outside and hit that ball over there because of the way that we could throw away from that safety. If you look at the reason why the safety doesn't get over as well is because of this 18. He goes ahead and holds them. You can see here that we, we hold him enough to where the guy does not go sprint out. This guy actually even had a little bit of a little bit. See how he stopped there? That was kind of weird. I think that was just, it looks like it uh, it showed that um, he got an animation he shouldn't have. But you can see how we're still able to throw that, right? Now, with Dime 146, if you press Dime 146, watch what ends up happening to the player and where he goes. It ends up basically going to where he's outside of the line now. This is a throw that's very hard to throw if you're playing against Mutt. And the reason, again, is because he's so wide that he now has the ability to get over. That's why I use the X route as a barometer. I can throw this in practice mode all day only because of the fact that I'm going against Chung here and I'm going against um, somebody that's not the speedster that you'd see with Taylor Mays or um, some of the other ones that we have in strong safety right now. But trust me, when I tell you that this X... The line here really depicts the difference between having uh, a completion or, or an incompletion. It does because um, it, it really allows that player to get over. So hopefully you guys can understand what I'm talking about here. It's really about uh, understanding positioning of players, understanding that there are differences in each formation of where people line up. And depending on where you see, um, this, this play actually has a really good opportunity of giving you a visual sign that says, you know what, I'm going to try it or I'm not going to try it, right? So I just did dime 236 so you can see here again, if you look at it, and I want to make sure that you guys can understand, would you throw this, okay? This spot is exactly where the nickel normal was, right? Right where the foot is on the line. I can fit this in with the right personnel. What I mean by right personnel, fast player in X, good route runner, fast player in B, and making sure that I can hold that player up, right? So you see that he goes up the field and you're wanting to throw this away from your player, right? And be able to hit that, right? So that is something that you're able to do. If people start, you know, when they press, they get these people and they want to get down here, that just helps your cause. If they get these guys in the box where a lot of people like to do it for run defense, um, then you know that you're going to have this pretty much with anything because if you look at the line, th there's no way they can get over there, right? Against soft squats, right? With something where it's... Um, say uh, i'll go ahead and just play up with cloud flat the difference between cloud flat and soft squats is that cloud flats are supposed to push the guy to the inside okay and that's how you can tell the difference between the two and when you see that the guy pushes the guy to the inside he's supposed to uh, basically uh funnel him towards the ability for the safety to block it so here i change it to cloud flats see how he pushes him to the inside that will allow your player if he is in position to go ahead and stop it OK, so I want to make sure you see that if you're looking at the player and he gives that jam to the inside, you want to start looking at throwing it elsewhere. Obviously, I was able to do it here because I moved the safeties to the middle of the field as I was using my, my uh, illustration. But you're going to be able to see that that's what it is. Now, um, this is a formation I'm working on when it comes to complementing the gun doubles that we just dropped. And um, I'm going to be able to kind of show you a little bit more about what I go to when I see cloud flats, what I go to when I see different coverages. But I just want to kind of start off with this video to kind of explain a little of the nuances what you do when you look at plays how you can make them more efficient, how do some people that are pros out there just seem to, to be able to fit balls into holes that um, you're not normally able to. And a lot of times that's just because they are looking at visual cues to know when to dial up the play and when not to dial up the play. And I wanted to make sure that you saw that with the uh, receiver here, uh, the X, to kind of give you a little bit more of an understanding. Know your personnel. You know, if your personnel and you're playing in regs, you're playing in CFM, you may not be able to, to fit that there because you don't have a strong enough arm quarterback. You don't have a fast enough player in that position. Find what makes sense for you as when you can throw it off of this visual X 
and then go with it, right? If it only time you could throw it when the guy's to the left of the X, then do it. If it's something where I can usually throw it when the guy is standing on, um, you know, his his leg that's what we're seeing here is on the line, then do it. But if anything more to the right, I would say not to. So hopefully you guys got something out of this video, kind of just explain a little bit more of why we look at little details um, when we do play designs in order to get you the most out of them. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.